So you don't mix it up? Yeah, this car, I mean, it's hard to mix this car up with other cars. Hence it's orange. You got this car in focus? Like I mean, you I mean, focus? no, no, but like, get the car. Yeah, yeah. So this car was here months and months ago. It did about between 310 and 320-ish wheel horsepower on pump gas. Um, but we're going to put some better fuel in it and see what it can actually make. Um, so it's a 1AT, connecting rods, uh, exhaust valves, GTX 3076, um, Eurodyne software, and 1000cc injectors, I think is what's in it. I didn't build this one, a buddy of ours built it, and this used to have a big turbo 180 in it years ago. This car's fl switched hands a zillion times. The engine ended up failing in it and um, the car got kind of parted out and the new owner now decided to put a 180 back in it, big turbo setup. So here we are. So we're going to get the old fuel out, put in some better fuel and uh, see what we can make with some more timing and a bit more boost. Perfect. So this car's been here before on and off. Yeah. Like how do you want to add that in? He was here for a lot of runs to figure out, it had to go back to the owner basically because there was some wiring things that were missed that had to get corrected before um, we could push it any further. So that's kind of why it's back now. Yep. So um, do you want me to add in maybe a little bit of the Yeah, add footage? in some of the previous stuff now. What do we got, Clayton? <laughs> Another 180. Another 180, Mark IV. Everyone's favor. What do you got there, Dave? Uh, well, there's two ways to, uh, well, there's many ways to gap spark plugs, I guess. Most people just bang them off of hard objects, of <laughs> hard objects. But the problem with that is like, you can actually crack the porcelain in the plug. Okay. And it's a lot of times you won't know that it's cracked until you're fighting a spark issue. So this thing just literally, you just thread the plug in and you tighten it down and it will bend the electrode down. We just a lot more controls here, not like exactly. bending it way too yeah. much and then having to straighten it back out. Exactly. This is why it takes long periods of time to get anything done. We were talking about stories. I was talking about Steve-O's real teeth. <laughs> Look at them! Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're not good. <laughs> Alright, tax signal hooked up, ground hooked up. Time to go. Laptop's on, or not laptop. Dino's on. Confusing. Yeah. Time to uh, get the old uh, pendant in the car, hook up the laptop, and uh, see if they got this boost controller hooked up right. So I'm just going through the boost controller and setting a few things up before we do anything. Although the boost controller is turned off now, I plan on turning it on momentarily. So I'm just going back through and uh, making sure the little bit of fail safes and stuff that are built into the controller are uh, set up in here. Okay, Clayton didn't record any of this, or maybe he did, I don't know. Um, we just did a bunch of basically break in on the engine on the dyno. Uh, I know the car has already been driven on the road with the stock injectors after they did the engine assembly, but it's just something I like to do on a fresh build, so uh, just to give the rings a chance to seat as good as they can. So we're probably going to do like a third gear pull just to kind of get us started to see where we're going to end up here. So let's do the first one. You ready, Clayton? Ready. Can I get my earmuffs? Oh my god, you scared the s*** out of me. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Got him. You did you're lucky you didn't break your camera. Your looks didn't break it yet, so we're fine. Get in here and start poking around a little bit. I'm gonna crank the light up for you. Uh, I need my other cable. Which one? So this one should probably make around 300, I think, from what I remember. See how time is and stuff with it. So let's give it a go. Okay, so we had a turbo failure on the dyno with this Mark IV. So we have a replacement going in. GTX Gen 2 3071. So we'll get to see how this spooled, spools and makes power compared to what was on it. So let's get it in there. Turbo's been replaced. We got a uh, pressure gauge hooked up to the feed line uh, for the turbo and we're just going to verify oil pressure before we actually uh, get this thing back on the dyno to make sure there's nothing else going on that we may have missed. So Benjamin, we got some juice and we're ready to crank her up. Okay. had some footage of that and we've drained all the intercooler piping and the intercooler and cleaned everything out the intake however the exhaust still has remnants of oil probably a lot so the first pull or two is probably going to be pretty smoky um, just to get all the oil out of the exhaust so we're not going to try anything crazy we're just going to get the exhaust nice and hot do a couple pulls maybe Clayton will film some of the smoke <laughs> That'll come out of it. Yeah, it's not going to be good. No. I mean, we might have got some of it out the other night when we tried, but I suspect the way it was looking, it's probably going to get a lot of smoke here in here real fast. So, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. All right. So, I'll boost the it off. I'm just going to try a couple of runs just to see what it does here. Smoky, Clayton. Yeah, a little smoky. Oh. <laughs> it's nasty too because it's just all legitimately oil. Yeah. So, I don't even know what it made for boost. Not very much boost. It made like 200 horsepower. Um, so, that was, uh, it was nasty. It's very, look at the smoke outside still, I can see. Yeah. Um, I got the light on for you. So yeah, we're probably just going to do a couple of those just to clean out the exhaust as good as we can before we start ramping on it harder. That's a lot of smoke, man. It's a little nerve-wracking running a car when it's smoking like that. Throw some timing at it. See what it does. I just want to make sure a few more pounds of boost it does what it's supposed to do. So you put some boost into it? A little bit. Just a little bit. Hopefully, just a little bit. <laughs> I think the boost got set pretty high though. But that's okay, because we had it that high before. And with better fuel, no problem. What? With better fuel, no problem. Pretty much, looking at this. All right. Got it. 
Smoked out, standing beside it. I know. Oh, I don't nice. know, man. It's a lot of smoke. Well, like I said, away. if the resonator and muffler have fiberglass and it's, they're soaked. So well, the amount of oil that was through the whole system. But I mean, it was it was way. Although I put the I adjusted that uh, the boot the spring setting. Yep. And that screwed up that graph. Oh yeah, super lazy. <laughs> but made, but made some time. Eight hundred more horsepower. Yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna look at the logs here. Definitely gotta fix the spring thing. We might just try that run again. The smoke, man. Terrible. We're just gonna fix that. That little hump in it. Come on, humps, come on, humps, come on, humps. So that hump there, that was spring pressure, you could hear in the video, I guess, and whatever, but that's too high of spring pressure and it makes it lazy. So we're gonna just repeat that with the spring pressure change a bit. Yeah, I'm not standing there now. I wouldn't. Alright, start logging, keep an eye on a zillion things at once. smoke is a lot better I don't know about that no it is that boost setting made it worse so yeah. it's not the right way to go oh my the life of boosted cars on a Sunday on a Sunday okay so uh, I put it just a little bit different than where we had it it was way better than the last setting I had yep I just want to look at overall boost to make sure nothing weird is going on. Because it was a little less power, but... Excuse me, it was uh, a little less boost, so that makes sense. What now? I'm going to give it a minute to cool down. Because um, there's a bit of thrashing on it. A lot of smoke. Mm. You think the smoke's getting better? Yep, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Clayton says it's getting better. Well, it's still terrible, but it's better than what it was. So, Clayton, you got that camera on me. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna look at the logs and I'm probably going to redo this map and throw some timing at it. All right, I'm gonna take a break. Race map. Okay, do it. We're going to do the same boost with some timing and hopefully there's less smoke again and more horsepower hopefully no smoke but well i don't think we're to that point yet but no. we're, it looks like we're getting closer so sweet okay i think i'm just gonna get the temperature up a little bit and we'll give her the beans uh, as I mentioned already, we're going to check some timing at it, or we check some timing at it. Just waiting for the temperature to get up. Let's go. 
What did I say before that run? I don't know. Oh, you wanted uh, three, like 30 more horsepower. And you pretty much got it. Well, 20 more horsepower. I think That's what I said. Yeah. yeah. You got like what, 24, 25? Yeah. Yeah. That was the, that was the best graph yet. For I don't sure. know if you look in the mirror or not, but very little. Smoke. Very little smoke coming out of it. Yep. Very nice, very nice, Clayton. I think she's a little bit rich still, though, but uh, 20, it looks like it needs, it wants more timing. It's just what it wants. <laughs> so we're gonna... I think, it, I think it wants more boost. We're gonna, no, not, no more boost yet. We're gonna chuck some more timing at it. We're getting like 20, 30 horsepower every time. Just in timing. Yeah. So, I'll look at these logs and I'll do the same rinse and repeat. And, like I said, if I could see 350 at this boost level, be in good shape. I'd be feeling pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna chuck another five pounds at it and make 400. Sweet. Will it make 400? I think. We'll see. Okay. Can we get some more HPs out of here? Some I think more? so. Okay. Clayton said he thinks so. So. Are you recording? On the GoPro? Yeah. Not yet. GoPro, start recording. We chuck some more timing at it. It's up to temp. Traster controls off. I think killed that whole run. Yeah, I could definitely hear that. Come on, weird. Because it came, it was the exact same power, exact same boost, everything. Well, sorry. Ended up being the same boost, but I think it should have, uh, it should have made a bit more. It just came on so late. So, Clayton, where does that put us? Spring pressure's too high? Well, that's what that's supposed to mean, but I don't know if that's the case or not. Alright, let's see what this one does. Plus, plus, plus? Uh, there's a few pluses added there. A few pluses added. So. I'll make some more horsepower this time. <laughs> this card's full, so it's not gonna record anymore. That's okay. All right, let's uh, see what she got. Once the gauge comes alive. There, yeah. Two runs back to back would have probably not helped with that. So that's the most I've made that time. Yeah, that's quite a bit more. 360 now, so super smooth looking. Yep. Decent boost level too, really. Yeah, 20. It peaked at 22.9 pounds. It says it's a little wavy on the boost. Well, the horsepower doesn't show it, the boost does. I wonder if it's my sensor. Definitely smoke here, again. But it was, <laughs> I was quite, well, it was more boost, so. Yeah, more heat. Yeah. I, 
was a good one. Okay. 360. I think it still needs more timing. Honestly. Do it. Okay, so it's just you and I, GoPro. Um, it's pretty cold here where we are. Like, not crazy cold, but we got to pick and choose the days we can kind of dine out because we got to have the door open and all the fans and everything running. So um, it's a little bit warm today, so we're going to take advantage of trying to do a few, few pulls on this Mark IV to see if we can kind of finally wrap it up. So Clayton couldn't make it this evening. Um, so we're just going to try to see what we can get out of this thing. Yesterday, uh, the highest we got was 360. So I kind of went through the logs last night and um, take a look at timing, fueling, all that sort of stuff and kind of seeing where we were sitting. So now I'm just going to do, first run is just going to be just to back kind of what we did yesterday. And then I'm going to check some more boost at it. And it looks like from our boost on the dyno, it's, it's a little bit erratic but the actual power curve is completely smooth so I think there might be something up with my sensor because the data is kind of showing that it's smooth also um, and we're probably right around 20 to 22 pounds right now um, so yeah let's see what we got here Okay, so I'm just waiting for this to flash now. It's kind of one of the downsides to Eurodyne is they're not on the fly changes. So every time I want to adjust timing or fueling, I have to create a new map basically or edit the map and then reflash it to the car. So it does take a little bit of time, but uh, for the last run, I wanted to pull just a little bit of timing out of it before I turn the boost up. So I have to go through the process of flashing the car again. So we're almost ready though. And uh, let's see what we can get out of this one. I adjust the timing a little bit more and uh, put a bit more duty cycle in the boost controller. So hopefully this gets me to where I want. A little bit. 
We've got a little more to go yet. I heard through the grapevine what? that somebody made a little bit of a power increase with this car. Since, since you were here last. Since I was here last, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do one more run. Well, not one more, but it didn't, do the didn't get the boost out of it the last run that I did the other night. So uh, it was late at night, and I knew Clayton was coming over again. So we, uh, I just decided to wait to try to get the last bit of boost out of it. Oh, you waited for me? Of course, of course. So let's talk about this thing, Clayton. Do you remember what's in it? 1AT. It's a 1AT, yeah. It's a e everyone's valve. favorite. Everybody's favorite. Never lose. Mm. It <laughs> was that a mm? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it has IE drop in rods. It now has a GTX Gen 2 3071. What did it have before? GTX 3076, first gen. So overall power output is the same between the two, but this, the 3071 spools a little quicker. It has tile blow off valve, 1,000 cc injectors, and a little bit of an oddball manifold. Um, it would be a longitudinal manifold. Crammed, made for like an A4. Right, made for an A4 crammed into this. So not ideal for downpipe and exhaust fitment wise, but that's what they bought and that's what they, were, they used. Um, three inch exhaust. What else? Uh, I think it's a tile wastegate. And there's one other thing I wanted to add. Um, 1,000 cc injectors and running Maestro, Uridine Maestro 7 software. I wasn't paying attention. This rods. Oh, and it does have um, upgraded exhaust valves. But gonna, just drop in rods, stock pistons, upgraded exhaust valve, stock cams, stock intake manifold, stock throttle body, all the rest of it's stock. On the old turbo, we did like just over 300, uh, which would probably be um, what, in the pump? video. Um, on pump gas with the old turbo. It was brought back after working on some kinks and they wanted to push it for more power. The very first run we tried to do on it, the turbo failed on the dyno, smoked the whole place out, and we put a replacement on it. And now we're putting the pluses in and uh, giving it the sauce. Uh, for suspension, it's K Sports, I believe. Has H&R front and rear sways. Um, we're not showing the fuel pump. I was a little bit worried it might have been a stock fuel pump before we started, but uh, the guy that helped out building this, Kendall, he said he checked and made sure it was upgraded. Doesn't know exactly what it was, but the dyno saying that it's definitely upgraded for the amount of power that we're pushing out of it so far. It's always reassuring. I know. I was very keen when we started pushing it up to keep an eye on things. Um, oh, it has an Innovate 2 in 1 boost controller, which we use quite frequently, and a set of rotiforms. Those are rotiforms, right? Yep. And um, the color. Because we know we'll get it these has questions. Like good sway bars on it. Yeah, I said you're not paying attention. I'm not paying attention, no. Um, the color is off of a 350Z or 370Z. One of those. So for those curious, it's like a burnt orange off of a 350Z or 370Z. A Nissan. Nissan, yeah. Um, we're getting closer to 10,000, but we're still pretty far away. So if you're enjoying the content, do us a favor, be sure to share it, like and subscribe as always. Um, also, thanks to everybody that's placed orders on our website, ordered hats or hoodies. We just did a revamp um, like within the last week on our website. It was terribly slow. That's all been changed. It's much more user friendly now. So if you're looking for anything, be sure to check out our website and uh, Add a hat or a hoodie. Actually, how about it. this? What? Anybody that has some of our CO gear, message you on Instagram, and I'll put the tag here, and maybe you'll repost that stuff. Yeah. On your repost story. it on... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for so sure. Po post on Instagram, you wearing CO something. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And yeah. Dave will repost on the story. Super old gear, whatever. 
Yeah. And we'll repost it on our story on Instagram. Um, okay, so we're almost ready, Clayton. We do need the dyno on, I forgot to clickety-click on the number seven there. Okay. And uh, we'll just have to prepare Ben for... Uh, the racket? The racket that's gonna happen. I started at 2,000 RPM. Oh, that's why. Boost, uh, it's pretty high on the uh, on the controller. I have to add it on there to get a better idea. I'll add it. Okay, Clayton. <laughs> Made some jam. Made some jam, yeah. So uh, 446, 358. Boost was at um, around 28 most of the way. So I think, I may have mentioned this in the GoPro footage, but with Clayton, I'll talk about it. Um, this is a client's car. This isn't brought in to break the internet and show you how much power can be made and claiming the highest horsepower on a 180. None of that. This is just everyday client cars that we're sharing with you guys. So could we make more horsepower at this boost level with better fuel? Um, for sure. Could we make more horsepower with better fuel and better modifications to the vehicle? Of course. This is a stock piston engine with a set of connecting rods and a set of valve springs. And it's not our car. To no, really but some clients really do want to push it to the extreme. But again, stock throttle body, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, this is cool. pretty serious compared to when it left before. Your mic cut out for a second there. Is it still cutting out? Nope. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty serious gain compared to before. Um, it did 310 on the old turbo. So I have this set up as like a race fuel map. So I'll just be able to toggle back to the other, other map easily so that they can just run pump gas in it. So. Pretty decent setup. Yeah, Clayton. As always, what are we forgetting? Like you mentioned earlier, like, subscribe, I don't comment. Think, oh, did I say that earlier? Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to ask them below. I tried to cover as much detail as I could with this car so that um, if there was any questions, it would be in the video. But if you do have any questions, be sure to ask below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Clayton, we'll see you in the next video.